I watched a video this morning. Marquez Brownlee uh, released a new video on his channel about a trip to Disney to check out a secret project that Disney had called the Hollow Tile 360 degree uh, floor treadmill. You know, I was kind of watching the technology and watching the video and everything. This is just a, a little kind of figurine moving on the tile. But at, at a certain point, you know, Marquez gets on here with a chair and he kind of rolls around with a controller. And then at a certain point, he's walking around on the tile. And this really reminded me, I don't know if anyone remembers this, back in uh, 2018 for Twit, I got to go down to Silicon Valley and check out the Infinideck, which was the moving treadmill that you saw on the movie Ready Player One. Had a lot of attention, right? I got to actually interview the CEO of Infinideck, uh, Benjamin Freeman, back in 2018. And as you can see, I got to test out the model from the movie. This is, um, I don't think it was exactly the same prop, but this was the same technology that they used in the movie. And if you watch me, like I'm walking, yes, but, but it's not supernatural, right? Like it still takes a lot of getting used to. And so when I was watching um, what Marquez was showing off in his technology, it really reminded me of my experience. And listening to what Marquez spells out as some of the challenges here, it kind of seems like we're in a very similar s situation with technologies like this, even though we're a number of years uh, later uh, into the development of this. And I think one of the big problems here is that our natural walking gait is so ingrained in us as human beings who have been walking the earth, you know, for our entire lives, anything even slightly different um, takes a lot of getting used to. And not only that, in situations like this, in technologies like this, the body is not moving. I mean, it's moving slightly, but the ground, the, the surface on which you're walking is moving a lot. So it's a real mind twister, um, especially, you know, not only when you are walking without a headset on, but when you've got a headset on, it takes it to a whole other level. Now, on top of being on this moving floor with a VR headset, which if I go back to the Infinideck video, so if I skip ahead in the Infinideck interview, you can see me you know, holding on to the railing, walking around in this virtual space. And sometimes what you'll notice is like, even when I'm standing still, the ground moves underneath me. It's always trying to like center me into the middle so that I have the space on which to walk. And if I moved faster, it would speed up and everything like that. Um, but it really, you know, putting the VR headset on is meant to kind of open this up to a whole other layer of realism. And that's the potential, right? I think eventually maybe we get there. But like Marquez points out, it's not quite the same, uh, though it may seem, if you've never experienced these things, like it would be. Our bodies really are mostly stationary. You know, it's little slight movements as you're walking around. Uh, the virtual environment, yes, it's shifting around us, but you know, it's it's a lot of sort ofs. At least in my experience, our legs are moving sort of like they do in real life, and the the virtual environment is moving sort of like it does in real life. And ultimately, it's not enough to convince the body that it's real. And that right there can be very very disorienting. So he's got the headset on, and I mean, just look at the walking gait. Like it really. This man, this is so familiar to me. I know what it feels like to be there and think what you want to do is you want it to feel so real that you can move in any direction the way we normally do and you're going to stay upright. But it's very, um, it takes a lot of getting used to not having stability under your feet, even though it seems like the experience should be one to one. Is In the case of the Infinideck, I wouldn't say that I ever truly felt safe when I was walking around on the Infinideck, um, it always kind of felt a little dangerous. Thankfully, they had those handrails, which is something that Marquez doesn't have in the video that he posted today. Um, and of course, obviously, everything takes practice. I bet you the people who created these systems are really good at walking on them. They've probably done you know many, many, many hours to get to that point. Um, 
But the concept, I, I still agree. The concept, super intriguing. I think there's plenty of depth to what can be developed around this and how we can make virtual environments more immersive through technology like this. But my question is, what will it take to truly convince the brain and the body that the experience that you're doing when you're in one of these uh, systems matches reality? And I think that's really the biggest hurdle here. Anyways, uh, definitely go check out Marquez's um, video uh, walking on the uh, the crazy Disney treadmill contraption, the hollow tile 360 degree moving floor. It's cool technology. Um, and yeah, hey, you know what? The, the more things change, <laughs> the more things stay the same. I'm Jason Owl. Thanks for watching. <laughs>